Hi and welcome to another What I Eat in a Day video with hopefully some new gluten-free vegan inspiration for you. I started my day with a walk and then my favorite breakfast right now which is oatmeal with gluten-free granola, fruits and oatmeal. I just can't get enough. So I peeled and chopped up some kiwi and also some frozen mango in small pieces. Then I added a half cup rolled oats into a saucepan together with some water, salt, cinnamon, cardamom and also some flax seeds. A great combination. I cooked it on medium until creamy. And two really good combinations of this is of course crunchy peanut butter and some granola. And then I of course prepared my ginger tea before the oatmeal was ready for serving. I really love different kind of nut butters and when it comes to peanut butter I really like the crunchy one. It gives some extra chewiness that I really like. Then it was time to pour over the oatmeal into a bowl and top it with the kiwi, the mango, the granola and of course the peanut butter. A feeling warming breakfast that also contains vitamins from the fruits. So this is the breakfast of the day, some oatmeal with some mango, kiwi, peanut butter, granola and I'm also going to serve this with some oat milk. And then it was time for lunch and I was going to make this tomato bell pepper pasta with sun-dried tomatoes. I started with chopping up some tomato and then also some orange bell pepper. I also crushed a garlic clove and chopped it in small pieces. Then I added some olive oil into a skillet. You can also choose to fry it in water instead if you want to. And then I added the veggies and the garlic. Fry it on medium until soft. I also added salt, black pepper, chili flakes and nutritional yeast. I stirred it all around and then added some tomato paste for a deeper tomato flavor. I chopped some fresh basil that I will top this pasta dish with and fresh herbs is really the best to add for some extra flavor and freshness. I also chopped some cucumber for that extra crunch I always talk about. To add some extra salt to this dish it's super delicious to top it with some chopped sun-dried tomatoes. I can really recommend this, don't skip it. Then it was time to prepare the sauce, so I added a half cup cooked cashews the tomato and bell pepper mix, white beans and some water. I also squeezed some lemon juice in. So now we're gonna blend this one up. When the consistency was smooth I poured it over in two jars. You can absolutely use this sauce as a cold dressing too, maybe to a salad or something else you prefer. Then I cooked some gluten free buckwheat pasta and added the sauce in there. I also heated it up a bit. This is so creamy and packed with flavors. I scooped the pasta over into a bowl and added the cucumber, the sun dried tomatoes and the basil. I also topped it with some hemp seeds. A wonderful colorful pasta dish. Then I also had a snack in the afternoon, a delicious vegan Snickers bar. I bought it in a vegan cafe, it's called Hey Lucy if someone in Stockholm wants to look it up. Then I also fed my gluten-free sourdough, which I do once a week. The recipe will be in my upcoming ebook that I have talked a lot about, but I promise you, it's soon ready. Then it was time for dinner and I decided to make a warming broccoli and potato soup with tofu crackers. I peeled and chopped a yellow onion and then fried it in a skillet with some olive oil, salt, black pepper and chili flakes until soft. 
Then I also peeled and chopped some potatoes and added them in there. Then, of course, some broccoli and a garlic clove. I cook this with one and a half cup almond milk and one cup water with a lid on the top until soft. For my tofu crackers, I slice some firm tofu that I fried with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, tamari and rice vinegar. I used a hand blender to blend the soup when the veggies were soft. I also added some lemon juice in. I scooped up the soup in a bowl and prepared my tofu crackers with some avocado and cucumber. This was delicious. I really hope you liked this video and let me know if you have any questions in the comment field. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I hope to see you in the next video.